Wednesday, July 22nd. Hey there, I'm meteorologist Ashton Altieri. So dew point, we don't talk about it much, but the dew point, of course, a measure of how much moisture is in the air. And usually that's irrelevant information here in a state like ours where it's so dry. But dew point is important to talk about today because it's going to be going down for Denver in the Front Range. We had an unusually humid day around here yesterday. Those dew point numbers drop here, but on the western slope, it's a different story. The dew point numbers are going to be going up as monsoon moisture kicks in. And with the higher dews, that means lower temps. So out west, we'll see high in the 80s instead of the 90s today. Meanwhile, drier air here, that means warmer temperatures. So we'll be back in the mid to upper 90s around Denver, Boulder, and Fort Collins. Down south, closer to 100, down around La Junta and Lamar. We do have an air quality alert today. This goes until 4 p.m. because of high concentrations of ground level ozone in the eight county metro area. Ozone's great up high, not so good down low, and so that's why it's unhealthy air for sensitive groups today. Satellite, radar, together here showing the leftover storms from late yesterday, making their way over into Nebraska overnight. And then again, here's that monsoon flow coming on up. Uh, we've got an area of high pressure over New Mexico. Mexico, low pressure near Vegas. Between the two, that monsoon flow, this pattern typically sets up every year right around now, continues into August. This is when states like Arizona get the bulk of their annual precipitation. For us here along the Front Range, that monsoon moisture will make its way east by Friday. So it'll slowly move from the western slope to the mountains to the Front Range, and it'll get here on Friday. So by Friday, we got a much better chance for showers and thunderstorms. Today, vast majority of uh, storm activity in our state will be out west and in the mountains. If we get anything in Denver, it's most likely going to be after 4 p.m., and it would be a thunderstorm that produces a lot more wind than rain. And if that happens, and that storm manages to make its way all the way up into north East Colorado, it'll eventually find a little better moisture, so it could turn severe up around Holyoke, Akron, and Julesburg. 90s all the way through Saturday, and not much different Sunday with a high temperature close to 90.